Hello fellow Rosarians, thank you for joining me today. We are in our first flush of the season and what I wanted to share with you today of course are the roses that are looking really pretty and those blooms but I do want to pay a little bit of attention to the roses that are not great right out of the gate. They've got black spot. Now I am going to have soft fly larvae so you're going to see little holes in the leaves. How do I treat either whether it's black spot or soft fly larvae. I wait until after the flush and then after the flush is finished and I'm cutting them back I'm going to defoliate um, defoliate the roses and that'll take care of both issues and I just try to stay on top of it the entire season where after each flush I'm doing the same thing I am defoliating uh, the rose. So I want to keep this video as a record also for myself uh, for the roses that are not doing well in Maryland in 7B in a really humid environment because it's my expectation that when they have their first flush these leaves should be black spot free and it's as the season progresses it gets worse and worse so I know that right here out of the gate if they have black spot they're going to be a hot mess by the end of the season so as I'm starting to make really tough decisions during the fall I'm going to reflect back on this video and say I've given that rose four years and in four years time it has not grown out of its black spot. It just doesn't like uh, Maryland Zone 7B, so it's out of here so that I can try to find a rose that is more resilient. Now, keep in mind, this is not to say that this, the roses that I show you are going to be terrible for every zone. Some people may have different experiences with these roses, and so I ask you to put in the comments down below if there's a rose that I have black spot, Please comment if you're on the West Coast and it's not a humid environment and the rose looks great because that would be really uh, helpful for people as they're making their decisions on which roses that they want to add. Okay, so we're over here on the sunroom garden and Benjamin Britton looks pretty good. I have a little bit of black spot, but nothing that I would um, be particularly concerned about. Vanessa Bell looks good, no black spot. Abraham Darby, he smells wonderful, but he, he's terrible. I mean, right out of the gate, I have a ton of black spot on him. So that will make it so that he doesn't really want to bloom for me during the season. And this is going to be a rose that needs a lot more attention um, so that he looks good for pictures. But he's beautiful. Let's keep on walking. Benjamin Britton again looking nice. This is Carding Mill. Carding Mill looks pretty good. I've got a little bit of black spot starting but um, I think that this is salvageable um, so we'll keep on working on her. Look at those pretty blooms. Winchester Cathedral. Overall, we're looking pretty good. I've got a little bit of black spot down into the bottom of the rose, which makes sense. <clears throat> That's where the fungus is going to rest. Sun and Welt, absolutely beautiful, disease resistant doesn't get black spot until the very end of the season and you have to look really close. Princess Charlene de Monaco. She is looking very clean and beautiful. Benjamin. The Lark Ascending. Lark Ascending is looking really good out of the gate. Uh, no black spot. Windermere. Windermere is looking good. Sweet Juliet. Uh, I've got some concerns about the start here. I mean, she's beautiful, um, but we'll have to see how she progresses this season. I know a lot of you really love William Morris, but if you look at his overall shape, I mean, he's, he's wild. He is like uh, Lady of Shalott. So we'll see if he can grow taller, but right out of the gate, I have a nice case of black spot 
on William Morris. Soul Sister is a hot mess. I already have a ton of black spot on her. Benjamin Britton looking good. Lady of the Shallot looking really good. Jude Obscure looking very good. No black spot. Desdemona no black spot. Okay, back here we've got uh, Pat Austin and she's looking good right now. Alabaster is a new rose that I just added this year uh, and it is a Tonto. Gosh, the camera's almost too bright to get her white. There you go. <clears throat> she looks great. Uh, let's see. Lady Emma's. They're looking good right now. No black spot. <clears throat> this is a rose called Elizabeth Stewart. And Elizabeth Stewart um, is looking pretty good. Ooh, look over here. This is Gold Flame. And this is a new Halbert that I just added this year. No black spot. This one looks good. Molinell. Um, Molino is looking pretty good in its first flush. This is new for me this season. Sugar Moon. Sugar Moon is looking pretty good. Evelyn is looking pretty good. Abraham here. It's hot mess. Forever Amber looks good. This is supposed to be top cream, but we know that it's not. This is from Edmonds. It looks good. Tea Clipper looking good. Knockout looking good. Rosary de la High, excellent. Duchess de Montebello. Well, this is interesting. This one has um, a little bit of, it may have powdery mildew, which is interesting to get powdery mildew in our environment. I rarely get it, so we'll have to watch that one. Baron Prevost, no black spot. Sydney, no black spot. Fantin Latour, looking good. Hippotal. It looks like powdery mildew, which is fascinating. Uh, let's look over here now at the Crocus Rose. Crocus Rose is looking good. A little bit of black spot down here starting. Tranquility is going to be a problem. Uh, Lady Gardener. A little bit of black spot um, on this one. Evelyn, she's looking good. I don't know about you guys, but my drift roses, powdery mildew. It's just crazy. Jolie, looking good. This is Mango Veranda, clean leaves. Pom Pom Veranda is getting ready to go into a bloom. Nice clean leaves. Okay, let's head down and look at another bed. Louis Estes. He's going to be a problem, I think. Morning Glow, looking clean. Bella de Crisi, looking nice and clean. William Lobb, clean. Look at those pretty moss buds. Buttercup, clean. Charlotte, clean. 
Charles Darwin, the Country Parsons. These are all looking good. My carding mill standards looking nice and clean. Ladies Blush, Scarborough Fair, Imogene, Ancient Mariner, Rushing Stream, Silas Mariner, Felicity, Felicity Parmenter, all clean. Flamenco Rosita, looking clean. Piano, Betty Boop. I think Betty Boop was a problem last year, um, but she's looking good right now. <clears throat> Young Lacidus has a little bit of black spot starting. Noble Antony, a little bit. The Dark Knight, clean. Chiante, uh, looking pretty good. Sir John Betjeman, a little bit of black spot. Tam O'Shanter is going to be a problem this year. But let's look at Sir John Betjeman's blooms. James Austin is going to be a problem. Gabriel Oak is going to be a problem. And this is a, a bloom. Rouge Royale looking very good. The dark, oh, Black Bacara is starting with Black Spot. Uh, Yves Piaget is going to be a problem. Look at that huge bloom. Maybe it's worth it, huh? The Squire is clean. No black spot. The Prince has black spot. Maggie has black spot. Delish is clean. That's a delish bloom for you. Okay, next up is Radio Times. Radio Times looks pretty good. Let's see. Look how pretty. All right, next up is Wenlock. Wenlock is looking clean. No black spot. The Huntington Rose uh, looks good. Nice big blooms. Fiji, looking good. Jacques Cartier, finishing a bloom up. Looking good. Falstaff, it's going to be a problem. He's a hot mess. Royal Jubilee. Royal Jubilee is going to be a problem. Othello. Othello is um, probably going to be a problem. I see black spot already. The Dark Lady. Um, the Dark Lady uh, has black spot. The Fisherman's Friend. Fisherman's Friend is looking pretty good. Water blooms here. I've got um, the fisherman's friend could be a problem. Okay, so let's look at the other raised boxes here. Mill on the floss is looking really good. No black spot. Bishop's castle looking good. 
Uh, Barbara Austin is in here, and I think that she looks good, except for soft fly damage, which I shared that we're going to have here. Uh, and I just keep on picking away at it, literally. Um, Scepter de Isle, clean. My knot garden back here, I can't wait to see that come to fruition. Uh, Empress Josephine, clean. Louis Odier, clean. More Benjamin. You can never have too much Benjamin. Pretty Jessica, I know people love her, but she's going to be a problem. Okay, this is Chaucer. Look how pretty Chaucer. Um, Chaucer, Chaucer looks pretty good. Um, I do have a little bit of black spot down here, uh, but the overall growth of the rose is looking great. Brother Cadfell, clean. Uh, Litchfield Angel. Litchfield has uh, a little bit of black spot down here, so we'll watch it. Leander, look how pretty Leander. Leander's looking pretty good, just a little bit of black spot. And Perdita, I think that a deer got this, but if we're looking at the leaves, it's got black spot. I wish you guys could see this in person because it just looks so beautiful and I don't think that the, the camera truly captures it. Look at Benjamin. We've talked about him. All right, this is the Mayflower. And the Mayflower has a little bit of black spot already. But let's look at her bloom while we're here. Pretty. Okay, this is Gertrude Jekyll. Let's look down. Gertrude Jekyll is looking pretty good. That's just couple of leaves with black spot but the overall uh, rose shrub itself is looking fantastic Benjamin love you La Ville de Brucellis clean Leander has been pummeled by soft fly larvae um, but no black spot very good. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay, uh, last bud here up front. Okay, this is Heathcliff. Look how pretty. No black spot. Okay, this is Princess Anne, who had a beautiful flush. I mean, she is still going, you guys. She is definitely a rose that you want to add to your garden. Uh, just a very little, like three leaves of black spot. Black caviar, a Tonto rose, fantastically clean. Chetiscant. Pretty good, just a few leaves. Sir Edward Elgar, just a little bit of black spot on the rose. Ascot. Ascot um, has no black spot, nice and clean. Thomas Beckett. Thomas Beckett is going to be a problem. Okay, Port Marion. Port Marion has black spot. And I'll have to deal with that because she is definitely worth it for me. She's so pretty. Wife of Bath, looking pretty good. Sophie's Rose, looking fantastic. Very clean. England's Rose, tiny but clean. Darcy has black spot. Rain de Violette looks pretty bad. Black spot all the way up the rose. Prospero looking very clean. Uh, Tess. 
Tess has just a hint of black spot on this one cane, but the rest of them are looking pretty good. Rosemantic fuchsia. Looks amazing right out of the gate. Wow. So happy to have this NERP if this is what I can expect. Nice clean, um, clean, a uh, nice clean rose. This romantic fuchsia also nice and clean. Isaac Perrier has black spot. Belinda's blush clean. Julie Andrews clean. Rosary, Rosary de Chate, just one leaf with black spot. Celestine, clean. Cinderella, clean. Larissa, clean. Mary Theresia, I don't even know how to say that, clean. Marie Louise, clean. Okay, my Evelyn has black spot. So <laughs> she she's definitely worth it. Um, so I will put up with her. Okay, let's head down here. Looking at Olivia. Olivia, besides soft fly larvae. Let's look at her. Besides sawfly larvae, she is clean. Queen of Sweden. Is clean. Got one bloom up here to share with you. Okay, this little one down here is Italian ice and it is clean from Black Spot. Okay, heading down. Sweet Madame Blue. Plum Perfect, clean. Violet Pride. Burgundy Iceberg. Let's look at Burgundy. Pretty. Uh, Poseidon. And I'll just note while I'm here that this is a shady location and Poseidon always uh, seems to burn on the edges. Lady of Magench is going to be a problem. Uh, Jean Giano, clean. Mortimer Sa Sackler, clean. Munstead Wood. If memory serves, Munstead is typically prone to black spot, but he's looking good. Bolero, looking okay. It looks like I just have a couple of leaves in here that have black spot. My hybrid teas are notorious for black spot. This is Chicago piece. Knockouts, they get black spot and they just keep going. They don't care. Uh, Celestial Night, just a little bit of black spot. Iceberg is terrible for me. <laughs> this one might have to go um, because it's not a great bloomer uh, and to have black spot on top of that is difficult. Let's see, this was sentimental finishing its bloom and I do have just a very little bit of black spot. This one is new this year and it's doing so well. Look at that color next to the Nepeta. This one's called Out of the Blue. 
This came from Northland just uh, last year. So this is a one year old and I am amazed at how tall it is. I've got just a hint of black spot on the lowest leaves. So I'm encouraged by that. This is my on Onyx and it has mosaic, which is why I think it's been struggling. I do have a little bit of black spot in here. I'll probably give her one more go um, before I remove her from the garden. Mr. Lincoln, looking pretty with that nepeta. He's going to be a problem, I anticipate. Uh, Bella de Tode, black spot down there. Okay, we'll keep on walking down. Who is this pretty? This is Neptune, and Neptune is looking really healthy over here. Okay, Rose de Rochette. is so beautiful, but I've got a lot of black spot on that one. Souvenir de Baden, no black spot. Just saw fly larvae, wisely 2008. Black spot, but I would call that just a little bit. This is Earth Angel. An earth angel just keeps going. I mean, I'm, I'm looking at the bottom of her right now and there is no black spot. My only problem with earth angel is you all show these beautiful light pink blooms and mine are white. I think that's just where she's located. This is Mary and she typically has a terrible case of black spot every year, but she's looking okay right now. Sensuous has a minor case of black spot. Sweet Mademoiselle. She is a very hardy rose for us. I have no black spot here. We talked about Olivia. Pink sun blaze. Those little tiny blooms. I see a little bit of black spot down there. Leonardo da Vinci looking good. Madame Figaro is going to be a problem. Who do I have back here? This is Nahima. Besides needing a cane cut, she's looking good. I've got some new babies down here. Souvenir de Louis Amade, clean, sunny sky, has black spot. Um, Marianne, clean, although I don't think it's Marianne. And I got a replacement for her because I had no idea who she was. This is Wong Fang Yan, and it has black spot. Souvenir de Louis Amade is fairly clean. I see a little black spot down there. This rose is perfectly clean. This is Tequila Supreme, looking pretty. And then this one is Jump for Joy. Jump for Joy is looking good. Let's see who these new babies are. Frida Kala, looking good. All dressed up. Clean, Kimberlina, good, Chantal Moreau, good, Umbra, good, Mel's Heritage, good. Okay, let's look at some more babies. Strawberry Hill, clean, PAOK -okay from Hortico, coming back. Uh, Peggy Martin, 
outstanding. Susan William Ellis, good. Paul Recalled, clean. Honoring de Brabant, good. Rev de Or, clean. Madame Pierre Auger, good. Bow Bells, it's got black spot, uh, a little bit. Variegata de Bologna, the sport, just a little bit of black spot. Lawrence Arabia, clean. Bosca Bell, Awakening. Ronald Dahl, Winter Sun, all of those looking good. Winter Sun has black spot. Oof, this is Lorraine. Terrible. Mother of Pearl, looking good. This is Skylark looking good. Teresa Benet, awesome. Peggy Martin, we've talked about. She's looking great. Uh, the ingenious Mr. Fairchild, good. St. Alban, good. S -ch 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 -ch. Cream Veranda, looking great with those nice glossy leaves. Totteringly by Gently, clean. Eustacia Vi, looking good. Grace, just a little bit of black spot. Q, amazing. Um, Sunbelt, Savannah Sunbelt, nice green, clean leaves. First Crush Parfuma, looking good. Uh, who is this? Queen of Denmark. Nice and clean. Fair Bianca. Clean. Star of the Republic. Looking okay. I've just got uh, one leaf down there. Pink Traviata. Uh, just one leaf, so I would say that's good. I think this is Francis Meland. Um, I've got a little bit of black spot, but otherwise I think he's looking pretty good. State of Grace, look how pretty. State of Grace has um, a little bit of black spot. Matchless Mother, good. Fragrant Blush, good. Uh, Comte de Champagne, looking good. Polar Express. This one tends to burn for me in the sun. So uh, looking down at the base, we're looking good from a black pot spot perspective. Cottage Garden has a little bit of black spot. Gypsy Sue is really an impressive rose right now. I'm really happy with her. English Sachet has black spot. Uh, Tower Bridge, looking pretty good. Zade. You can't beat Cortez. No black spot there. Uh, Heavenly Rosalind. Clean. Hyde Hall. Looking good. This one is typically back black spot prone for me, but it's looking good right now. Uh, I know without even looking that Ringo All-Star is a superstar. No black spot. Let's see, Claire, you can see it right up front here. Claire has black spot. Heather Austin, ooh, I lost that cane. Heather Austin uh, has black spot. Eglatine, 
she's typically an issue with black spot but I think we're looking good right now and then we've got lady of the lake black spot April love black spot rain Victoria just a hair of black spot I've got a new miniature here Millie waters looking good Summer Memories, a superstar in the garden, no black spot, but that's what I expect from Cordes. Summer Sun, Cordes, clean. Claire Austin, black spot. This is Cinco de Mayo, and Cinco has just a little bit of black spot, otherwise looking very good. Uh, foxy lady and foxy lady is looking great well-being has black spot here okay mary marshall looking good acropolis no black spot safari black spot Moonlight in Paris, terrible. Jane Austen, black spot. Let's see, the poet's wife, looking good. Okay, we're coming to the end of it. I know this has been a long video. Sir Emmanuel, besides having a little bit of soft fly, it looks good. Augusta Louise, looking nice. Uh, Heritage. Heritage typically gets black spot, but she's looking good right now. Crazy Love, looking fantastic. I expect no less from a Cordes. The Shepherdess, clean right now. Uh, Vanessa Bell, looking fantastic. Amor de Moline, looking clean. The Lion's Fairy Tale. This is a real spreading uh, rose, but it's a Cordes, and I think it looks great. Janet. Janet's a David Austin, uh, and she is. <laughs> she likes to really stretch. I need to go ahead and peg her to give her some support. She's looking clean right now. Bliss Parfuma always a great rose hardly any black spot gentle hermione looking good Bascabel looking clean uh you uh anne bolin currently looking good but she if memory serves she has had black spot in the past uh charles renee looking good but if memory serves, he has had it in the past. Peter's Joy, looking good. Medallion, looking good. Oh, you guys, and so this is my problem area <laughs> because these are Ken's hybrid teas and hybrid teas for me are notorious for black spot. I think they do really well in California, but not so much here. This is Cords Perfecta, black spot. Uh, Double Delight, terrible black spot. Um, bright and sunny, looking good. This is Sheila's Perfume, and I have black spot um, in full force here. Uh, another Cords Perfecta with a nice case of black spot. Life of the Party back here. Life of the Party has black spot. The Generous Gardener looking good. Um, we've got Heather Austin back here looking good. Uh, Bathsheba back here clean. Bullseye, perfectly clean, no black spot. Uh, Pat Austin, we've already talked about. Evelyn, we've spoken. 
Coco Loco. Coco Loco uh, looks pretty good. Uh, Darcy. Darcy is looking okay. Torn up by Sawfly. I hope this video is helpful and that it'll help you with your planning in the coming season. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one.